What is up, Sneak Geeks? It's your boy, Sneaker Life, and I'm back with the top five things that I think every sneaker's head should have. Parents, if you're watching this, get this for your kids. Girl, if you're watching this, get this for your man. So yeah, this is gonna be the top five things that I think you need. So let's get right into it. Junior, what are you doing? I was just spraying my hair. Bro, that is crap. It is not, what, why are you, why are you using hair, what? Well, you said this stuff worked good. When? So I just thought it would make my hair better. Man, mommy used to hold you too close to the microwave. Let me do me and you do you, okay? Whatever. I don't know what's wrong with Junior, but he like he'll put he'll put this in his hair. He oh my god, he sprays his ramen noodles with it. I just I don't know. So getting right into it, I think number one that you truly need as far as a sneakerhead is something to clean your shoes. You guys already know what I'm gonna bring up. If you don't know, I'm sponsored by Crep. I'm not getting paid for this video, but they do send me a lot of Crep, and I will be doing giveaways for it. But um, I believe you need these little kits, man. You need the little kits like this to keep your shoes clean. The simple little wipes, they help a lot. I use them a lot. The spray, keep your shoes clean. It's just highly recommended. You can go pick it up at Foot Locker or you can go get it on the site. The links will be down below in the description. So I'm a big bag guy. You guys know I've been doing a lot of traveling and this is by far my most favorite sneakerhead essential bag. Um, this is by Private Label, just a new brand. and. I love this bag. I've been using it heavy. Like, I, even when I go to school, I will have this bag. Just, I just wanted to test it out. I've been taking it everywhere, and people are like, "Oh, are you, are you going? Are you road tripping? You moving around?" I'm like, "No, just let me, just let me like my bag, yo. Like this, this is probably the greatest bag I've ever had so far. I'm a big bag person, and this can fit everything. Like, I'll let Junior show you how how much stuff can fit in this bag, and you know he can break down more details on it." but I love it. Are we going? Okay. Um, hey guys. Um, so I'm gonna show you this private label bag. Um, I pack a few things cause I'm going to Miami soon. I'm gonna flex on everyone, but uh, just a few things about my bag. This is, so, so it's called private label as you guys can see. Um, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Wash your butt. Um, anyway, so the things that I packed in here are, um, like I said, I'm going to Miami, so I got some drawers because it's really hot there, so this is probably what I'm gonna wear. CK every day, you know. Um, and then we have some crap, you know, keep them clean, keep them clean, um, wash the windows, and my hairspray. Um, I brought my, my, um, Mike, what is this called? Uh, I brought this so I can listen to my iPod. I love music. And then I brought some Yeezys, you know, because I like to flex some people all the time. Such a weirdo. Great. <laughs> And then, you know, I brought some Louis Vuitton Don because, you know, I like to play some people like somebody got these except me. Um, can you not text while I'm doing my video? Thank you. And then, um, usually I think I'm going to pack a charger in here. It's great. It's a lot of pockets. And I have my knife in case anybody want to act up and get smacked up because we don't play. Um, I, th I think people try to underestimate me. But, yeah, uh, this bag is great for the weekend. Almost a week. I think I packed for a week. So, yeah. Um, in here... Um, let's see. I got some cold medicine because you know um, girls are cold out there so I take this just so they can't give me a cold and yeah um, this too. but yeah this is the private label bag um, Mike do you think we can get like a nice little cinema zoom on this you know with some cool music yeah, I got you This is actually the bomber. There's a lot of dope options. I'm going to get another one because I love this. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys think down below. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Go ahead, Mike. Thanks, Junior. Yeah. 
And then coming in at number three would have to be some soul savers, soul protectors. There's, there's a bunch of different brands out there. I don't even know if this brand is still in business, but um, I used to use these way back when. Uh, if you want to keep your shoes icy and clean, you just, you know, you, uh, what is it called? You put the heat gun on the bottom of it, it sticks to the shoe, you can walk around and keep them clean for like a good six months. I had my Dornbecker 3s, I had these on my Dornbecker 3s, and it lasted a good six months. They're still icy, and you can just peel it off. The only thing that's annoying about these is they're really slippery sometimes. This one's a little bit better because it has like grips on the bottom. But I know some other ones I've used, it's like straight slick, and you can honestly just go on eBay and buy, like it's called like bra, bra lining, and you can do it on do it yourself, it's really cheap, you can buy it by the bulk. But if you wanna go with like someone specific, Soul Saver, Soul Protector, there's, there's a bunch of different brands. These do work, um, so if you're into that, I don't use them anymore, but I'm just saying, if you're into that and mom, you wanna put this in your son's stocking, it's a good look, it really is. I don't really have any complaints besides sometimes it is very slippery or it does peel off. But then again, it is something that really does protect your soul. So this next one should come to you guys as no surprise. I've made probably like three videos and every time I make a video about these, people are like, I already saw this video, Mike, why are you doing it again? It's because you know, there's always new subscribers, there's always new people entering the sneaker game, and when they see this huge wall of sneakers, they're like, yo, is that like built? Is that, is that custom made? How did you get that? And it's it's actually, they're all individual. These are called the Drop Front Shoe Box Containers. They're by uh, Iris USA. You can get these from the Container Store. Now, when I say the Container Store, a lot of people get really confused. They're like, what the, what the hell is the Container Store? It is actually a place. There is a place called the Container Store. You can go online, thecontainerstore.com, you can purchase these. I use the men's. They fit up to a size. I would say, I mean, my Timberlands that are 13, they fit in this box. So it can fit up to a pretty big size. If we're getting into 14, 15, 16, you might be SOL on that. But anything smaller than that, if you got, if you're like a girl, I suggest getting the lady drop front shoe boxes. But if you wear like a seven up to a 13, I think you can go with the men's and you'll be straight. Like you can. You know, uh, some people have small enough shoes where they can put them in like that. Obviously, I can't do that. I wear a 12, 13, so I put them in sideways. But I just know this is a highly requested, like, answer, I guess, Q&A. Like, people always ask me where to get this. I get crazy emails. I get crazy DMs. So here, that's where you get it. Container Store links will be down below in the description if you want to pick it up. And then the very last one is probably the greatest way to preserve your sneakers. Now, again, I've made a video about this but still have gotten a lot of questions about how to keep your shoes icy, how to keep them clean. Now, first and foremost, I would have to say go with the tech bag. This is a computer chip bag. As you can see, it's huge. A lot of people ask me the dimensions. This is like an 18 by 20 bag. It's huge and you can cut it. You can actually pick these up on eBay, but you have to buy them in bulk, which is annoying. And they're super expensive, so I don't really recommend this unless you have a pretty big collection like I do. Uh, it's just a great way to store sneakers that you want to put away for a long time. I know a lot of people get mad. They see some of the shoes in the back that I don't wear. And there's a reason I don't wear them. I like to keep them stored. And I mean, what's wrong with that? I like, see like for me personally, when I, when I buy a shoe, I don't usually just break it out right away. I like months to go by, years to go by before I decide I'm going to pull this out because most likely people ain't going to have them anymore. I just like my shoes looking new. So... The cheaper option I would say to go with preserving your shoes is put them in a plastic bag. Now this plastic bag here specifically was from Walmart. You can go to Walmart and pick these up. You can probably go to Target. It's a two gallon bag. It's the hefty two gallon jumbo bag and it's, it's a great look, man. As you can see, I still have my Carmines from when I picked these up way back when. When did they release? Like 2013, 2014? It's, it's been some time and I still am not pulling these out. They're still icy, son. And there's a reason behind it, man. Like. I just want these to be crisp, and when I pull them out, people are like, damn, man, I wish I, wish I would have got those, and I'm like, yeah, bro. But there you guys have it, man. That is the top five things that I think you should have, any gift that you want to give to a sneakerhead. I know sometimes it's a little hard shopping for sneakerheads just because they always want expensive-ass shoes. So these are kind of the little things that count. Oh, yeah. Um, if you want a sneaker life tee, you can go get one. This is the long sleeve. So... Yeah, you know, we gotta throw a little, uh, little merchandise in there. But this is your boy, Sneaker Life. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you watch, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Run it. Hands in the air now.